<laughs> Karen just said the things I wanted to say already. She could have done the affirmation for me. I was saying, do you feel good this morning? Yes! I didn't at first, because I looked out the window. It was a mossy morning, and I thought, what could help to bring my morning a bit better? So I thought, I have a picture that I can give away, which, oh. which is about mossy weather and fog. So one of you guys will get this picture at the end of the day. And I do wish our positive energies have gone to Calgary and Labrador to help our fellow Canadians and fellow Newfoundland and Labradorians. Now today, I'm going to do about affirmation. Now affirmation is not that difficult. Now how many of you have gone to watch Dr. Wayne Dyer that evening? I was there. I was there too. I took some good pictures. Now Dr. Wayne Dyer did an amazing show. Yes. I got a thousand people and I can summarize his evening in two words. And you don't have to pay me. <laughs> his words are I am. Remember that? Yes. I am. And that's a very powerful phrase. Because it's all up to you, within yourself. Everything, if you don't take action, don't start it from within you, you can never, never achieve any goals that you can do. Look at here. I can see 75% of you are women. Why? That evening, probably 80% were women. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, why? Why more women coming out? I think it's because of one very important affirmation I learned. Now maybe you, some of you will remember these words. I am strong, I am invincible, I am... But I'm a man, right? This is why people get hooked on to it. All the women listen to the song. And this is affirmation. They know that I'm woman, I'm strong, I'm invincible. And therefore, they all come out, achieve their power, do the things that they need you to do, and become powerful. And look at all you guys here, all professionals, medical schools, they all have more women than men. What about men? <laughs> Can you think of any song that do the same effect? <laughs> YMCA! <laughs> Macho, macho. It's no good. But this morning, this morning, I learned one song. I remember, actually, Pat reminded me. He said, A Popeye got say a lot of Who I am. And this is why I am is so good. It's not the spinach. It's the phrase I am. It's I am big Popeye strong and powerful. So affirmations are very important. But how do you know what affirmations are, especially to the guests who first time are here? Affirmations are small words, phrases that help you to achieve something you always want, something out of your box, something that is within the law of universe, which I will explain later. Now, some people will say, anybody have children here? You remember they say, I'm bored, I'm very bored, and that's very, very <coughs> negative. Me, as for myself, I would never, never use the word bored. Instead, what I want to do is, I am very exciting, I am open to accept challenges, I have more time to do more things, and that is how you spin around your negative things. I'm poor, I'm broke. Don't ever, ever say that. I'm going to have my income increasing all, all the time. I'm going to have to focus to get more money for myself. You can do it by thinking and make your eyes, not my eyes, sorry, I work in the eye clinic of thinking eyes all the time. <laughs> make your mind working all the time towards that goal. I am not loved. I just broke up. That's negative, right? So how do you change to affirm the other side of this phrase? 
I am ready. I am radiating love all the time, and love will come back to me. Think of it this way. I'm sure you will find a new relationship and new beginnings. Now, people will say, "I am going to win the lottery. I am going to win that dream home." Is that positive affirmation? No, that's actually very negative because. What you have in your mindset is poverty in your subconscious mind, because you don't want to do anything; you just want to win. But lottery is only a random thing. You cannot do anything to improve your chances. I buy one ticket. You may buy four tickets. Who get a better chance? Same. So I only buy one ticket at a time. That's all. But I don't buy the expensive one. I bought the twenty-five dollar ones, not the hundred and twenty-five one. <laughs> I still haven't won anything yet because this is only a random act. No matter how many times you look into the mirror, I am going to win the lottery, and you will not. By the way, do you think winning the lottery will bring you happiness? Okay, let me let me take you, Kimberly. If you're going to win. The lottery tomorrow, hundred thousand dollars. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go see the doc. Go to see the doctor. I'm gonna be paralyzed from now on. Who will you choose, Kimberly or me? The lottery. The lottery. Oh, you're gonna be poor. <laughs> People will say, I'll choose Kimberly because I'm gonna have a hundred thousand dollars. Now think about it. You're gonna be happy. Kimberly will be very happy. She can care for her child. She can care for her husband. She can care for, you know, people who have suffered and donate her money. But for me, I can't do nothing. I'm so active. I go hiking. I go photography. Now I'm going to stay in the wheelchair for the rest of my life. Am I going to be sad? Maybe. But survey says actually, survey has been done. Three months later. You go to the same persons. Kimberly, are you still happy? Oh yes, I got a new car. My son got a new wheelchair. I'm very happy. As for me, I got a new wheelchair, but I'm not that happy. And then one year, one year has gone by. The same survey after two persons again. Kimberly said, "Yes, I'm still happy." And come to me and ask me. I say, "I'm happy. I have more friends than ever." Remember one time the lady talked about the perks of having cancer? It's the same effect. You find that you can do more things than you never had time to do. You have more friends. Your children come to see you more. You have more things that you can achieve than before, and the happiness almost equal. Now, two years later, same people, same surveyors, go to ask the same question, Kimberly. Are you happy? I don't know. My son, my other girl got a car, and they crashed the car. They have parties all night, and everyone wants to come to my house because they know I'm going to host a party every evening. I'm sick and tired of people coming to my house, and I don't know. My husband bought a boat, and the money just going out the door like crazy. I'm a bit worried, and for me, I'm happy. I find my true inner peace. I have friends that really care about me. I don't have to worry anything. I have people bringing in groceries for me. I got calls from my mom. I have letters from friends. I have children coming to talk to me and read stories to me and show me their pictures. The level of happiness has started to shift. In fact, ten years later, if I'm still alive. You ask me how happy I am, I will be ten times happier than Kim. Just a story, okay? <laughs> so, at the end of the day, who do you think will be happier in the long term? Really, I am happier. If you read the paper, you will know the people who commit suicide after winning lotteries actually are higher than the people. Who commit suicide because of their illness, 
and that's very true. So the level of happiness is all a perspective, depending on what you think in your mind, and you can always change the perspective. Now, I'm going to tell you another story about this man who lived in Central Newfoundland years ago. In those days, before I came here, of course. They live on their land, they go fishing, they put all the food in the wood cellars to prepare for the winter. And he lived very happy with his wife, they are 60 years old, and they have a son, and he's a very positive guy. They think he's going to have a good life forever. But things turn sour. His son somehow <coughs> met the wrong crowd, and he went to rob a bank and he got caught. So the son was in prison. And the father, even though he was very positive, he thought, what am I going to do? My wife helped me and my son helped me to plow the land and I can have food without asking anybody to help me. And now my wife is weak, she's sick and she can't do anymore and I'm getting old. I can't go out to the field. So he wrote a letter to his son. My dear son, I wish you were a good son. Right now, I'm too weak to go to the field. I can't plow the land anymore. I am starting to feel a little bit negative. I don't know what I'm going to do for this winter. Someone has to help me to grow the potatoes. And a week later, the son wrote back from prison. He said, Dad, Dad. You can still plow the land, but for God's sake, don't dig up the land. My gun was there. <laughs> <laughs> and the father wasn't too happy. And that night, he couldn't sleep. But then he heard a noise. He heard police cars coming outside. And you can see the police van and people putting up yellow squares. And he was searching for the gun. And then, another week later, his son, you know, wrote another letter. Dad, have you done the potatoes yet? Because he was so positive, his son is an idea to write to his dad. He knew the letter would be read by the prison guards, and the police were there to take up the land for that man. <laughs> and now he can plant his potatoes. <laughs> very easy. We can just say simple words. I believe in myself. I'm proud of myself. No, 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 not yet. I know you're all pumped up, but you have to wait, take your turn. I just keep using examples, all right? You can do it at home. I'm wonderful. I'm always on time. I'm proud of myself. I'm a good father. I'm a good grandmother. I'm a good worker. I believe in everything I see, I believe in everything I do. So these are easy things that you can do. But today, for my affirmations, I want to do something a little bit different. As you know me, I always have my letters, right? I'm a person who believes in alphabets. You remember my ABCs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So today, I'm going to do based on that again. Last time I did 26 alphabets, today I only do three. <laughs> The first one I always say is, I am always active. Don't, don't say anything yet, okay? <laughs> now, I want you to stand up. <laughs> Just relax yourself, okay? Just make sure that your state of mind is clear from all the evil thoughts. <laughs> now, repeat after me. But you have to use the hands. Do the hands gestures I do. I am always active. I am always active. I can only use one hand because of Max. Right? Now switch over. Now close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes. I always. Come on. I always. I always believe in myself. I always believe in myself. Keep your eyes closed. I always. I always. I always believe. I always believe. I always believe in commitment. I always believe in commitment. 
minute. Now open your eyes, okay? And you can sit down. Not yet. Almost done. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> this is the usual stuff. <laughs> I love this beautiful province. I love this beautiful province. Newfoundland Labrador. Newfoundland Labrador. And I will always remember Memorial Day. And I will always remember Memorial Day. I love this city. I love this city. The most colorful city in the world. The most colorful city in the world. God bless. <laughs>